Hey guys, today we are going to talk about 8 cards that have recently gone up in price. And these cards are very casual, very EDH friendly, and unique. What I have found out about EDH is it's all about the uniqueness of the card and crossing your fingers and hoping it's not reprinted in a supplemental product down the line. So Reliquary Tower, there has been many reprints. This is a commander staple. I can't imagine any commander deck not playing this. Just like Soul Ring, it's that good. And it's a land. So the card now is $3.13. In foil, it is $6.40. It does have a, I believe it's a FNM foil. And probably a few other copies non-foil of the card. It has been reprinted a ton. Still very good and still worth three dollars from Conflux. As you can see from the chart, it went down. I'm guessing that was the reprint and now it's back up again. In Europe it is only a dollar twenty or a dollar one euro and twenty what's like pence? Is that like pounds? Okay. It's a dollar twenty in European money. Now, the next one is Paradox Haze, and this card has gone up, but in case you still have it in bulk, it is from Time Spiral. I have a ton of these. So Time Spiral, when it came out, this was not even a dollar. I feel like it was like a quarter. It was absolutely bulk for an uncommon. Therefore, if you buy old bulk from this generation of Time Spiral, you will find these. and. At $2 a pop, not bad, right? And I went to the flea market. So I'm going to the flea market this weekend. And it's going to be really fun. I'm probably going to go with Austin or I'll go with Gray. We go there, we buy stuff, we look at it. Uh, the flea market actually has new stock. One of the other stores, I believe in Armorillo, Texas, went out of business. So the store owner sent me a text and with an image of what he bought, it's essentially another U-Haul of cards. Many, many, more and more magic cards are going out of business. So it is quite fascinating. And what they have in inventory is exactly this bulk. Stuff that they cannot find a buyer's for. These stores are going out of business because they're not online. And because they're not online, it means they have a lot of Paradox Hazes in their back inventory. Next, Door of Destiny. This card has been going up since its drop. Door of Destiny was reprinted in M14. I'm fairly certain of that one. Tribal is always good. And when they reprint a good card like Chromatic Lantern, there will be a brief time where you can get it for the cheapest price point possible. And then it will just continuously, steadily increase in value until the next reprint. So today it is a $6 card at the all-time low. Looks like it was $3, maybe $3.50. Very, very cool card. Some cards are just always going to have value. Tribal cards are one of them. I don't know that many tribal cards that are bad, meaning that if they have flexibility in tribal that's even better so flexibility means that you can be any tribe and it's going to, to work it'll have the plus one plus ones now if it only was a card in standard right metallic mimic is going to be good now i don't know when the price floor would be i would imagine when it rotated out but i, I can't imagine it falling too much just because it's very very good to tribal sometimes you want to play this random tribe that is not very strong like maybe minotaurs and you need cards to support that especially in ed8 now averson averson has a different price graph than grizzle brand grizzle brand has been reprinted averson has not grizzle brand i believe is in modern masters 2017 and a grand prix promo and foil Avacyn has been a judge promo, and judge pro promo Avacyn is still highly, highly expensive. And it's not something that you would bump into in a wild very often. While the GP version of Grizzlebrand, I see them in pretty much every single binder in Houston. 
So let's talk about the future of this card. I could see in Iconic Masters. And should it be reprinted, just like every other very expensive Mythic Angel, it will plummet into oblivion in price. The price is not going to hold. Very good in EDH's, but it's one of those cards that I feel like a single mass reprinting of it will just tank its price. Because it's a Mythic Angel, one of the reasons people really want it is because there's not many copies out there, the time difference has been long enough, doesn't see that much play or any play in modern legacy vintage, only played in ED8 slash but wanted by angel collectors. So, and finally, the question of when is the bottom in this card, dot sees, and what was the bottom? Bottom was around $10 during Looks like end of Kaladesh and beginning of Aether Revolt. That was the bottom. That was the bottom. So this card we all know is very good. At one time it was a $60, $70 card before the reprint. And the non-reprinted, the, the original artwork is still very expensive compared to this card. I believe it's $30, $40. So there is a preference there for the original artwork. Dot Seas is the only good card in my opinion of the set. Yes, people will say, oh, the gods and this one and that one. But value wise, and when I talk about like good cards, you can define good in many ways, right? Playability, you can define it as casual appeal. You can define it as, oh, I play this in my EDH deck, therefore I personally like it. We are a MTG finance channel. So when I refer to good, bad, just replace those words with expensive, cheap. And so this card has hit bottom and it has finally, finally ticked up. It has taken a long, long time. Now, Corpse Dance is on the reserve list, I believe. If I had to guess why it's going up, I would guess it's on the reserve list. Corpse Dance. I have, because I don't really know. It's not great, but you don't need to be great as long as you are Tempest Remastered. Okay. Reserve list. Oh, and then there's like Hatsu Mizuki. Mizuki on. Okay, it's not telling me if it's on a reserve list. It just says it's in Tempest Remastered, which was a terrible, terrible set. Mm, reserve list. Oh, it has a combo of it. That's pretty cool. So it's, no, it's really difficult. I bet you wish it coast really hides this, the reserve list stuff. It's, I'm still trying to find out if this is on the reserve list. Corpse dance on the reserve list. Okay, that explains the price spike. Um, it's okay, it's buyback. Buyback is always not bad. I don't know, it's a decent card. Reanimation effects are always very good, but I prefer a permanent solution. Uh, next, Parallax Wave, part of the other waves. When Rebels were the deck, and then Civi, as well as Defiant Vanguard, and the, the, the Ballista that suits stuff down, and your top of the end was Chomanu Revolutionary slash the Flyer. <laughs> like, it was so bad when I think about it. This was a tier one card. I'm so glad that it's seeing play in EDH's because I love this card. This is tier one. And this reminds me of tier one back in Nemesis. Nemesis was a horrible set, but when you're playing these horrible sets in that moment in time, you don't actually know it's a really bad set. Only later, you're like, oh wow, that, that was a really, really bad set. Love this card, and I love the fact that you can play these old cards and they're gaining popularity and then they wane in popularity and then they gain some more popularity. It's just a fun, unique experience where everyone's deck is truly what they want to play it's not it's not something that everyone has the same tier one deck and i think that's what ed8 is a lot of fun because even if everyone has the same type of deck your 100 cards will not be identical or someone else's given what you like now grip of chaos i do want to talk a tiny bit about and finish off of this card so four double red grip of chaos enchantment whenever spell ability is put on to the attack or onto the stack, we reselect its target at random if it has a single target. 
There are a lot of people who like these chaos effects, and I don't personally like them. They're not very good in standard. They're not very good in modern. They're not very good in legacy or in any other format because you don't want to do it by randomness. But in EDH, I do like that deck. And just like the, the hippo that gives gifts. Man, hippo gives gifts. Oh, group hug. Just like the group hug deck, the chaos deck is becoming more prevalent. One of my friends is building it, and this is essential to the build. So if you believe in that deck and you want, you have any interest in buying pieces for that deck, now would be the time because I do believe it is gaining in popularity where the object is not to win the game. The object is just to cause as much chaos as possible. Anyway, that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.